Hello everybody and today we are doing sensations uh, I just bought the game today through Steam and I'm really happy that I have it now so that I can share that share it with you guys uh, before we get started I want to uh, thank all 97 subscribers for subscribing to my channel thank you so much for subscribing uh, if you really want to show your appreciation for making these videos for you entertaining you uh, please go to my patreon account and become a patreon contributor member contributing member uh, all the funds that go in there go directly to charity it doesn't come to me I don't see a penny of it it just goes directly to charity uh, it's all about uh, doing good for the community of charities that that need the funds so it's all good karma for you guys if you pay to become a contributing member all remember all the money that goes there goes directly to charity I don't see a pin of it it doesn't even come to me directly it just goes to a community and they send it to a, a charity of, of my choice that I tell them where to send it to <clears throat> they send me a receipt afterwards Proving where it went to and that they received the money and all that stuff just to So we know so that I know that everything is all in the up and up of course Because <coughs> I don't want anything. I don't want anybody to get cheated, you know, I Want this to go. I want the money to go to charity This you know, that's why I do this. This is why I entertain you guys I do these make these videos to entertain you so that hopefully you will in turn uh, become a contributing member on my Patreon so that, that money can go directly to charity. Uh, you'll be helping out the community. You'll be doing for good for the community. Um, also, I will uh, announce your name at the end of every video to acknowledge and thank you for becoming a contributing member. Also, to those who want to receive any copies of any uncensored videos that I make, that I record off to the side, I, well, yeah, I record them and then I put them on my uh, flash drive, uh, you can either come on $9 tier contributing member or $25 tier contributing member on my Patreon. Those two are set up for adult content. Content. <coughs> Once you become a member on any one of those, you can go to the comment section on any one of those and comment what videos you want to receive and uh, post your email in there so that I can send the copy to you via email. And speaking of uncensored, Sensation has some pretty hot uncensored stuff on here. So, if you don't get on the on the board of my Patreon, the $9 tier or the $25 tier, you're going to be missing out. Trust me, you're going to be missing out. You need to get on there, become a member, so that you can receive a copy of it, because we're, we're talking some hot stuff. I mean, it's, it's, it's better than Camp Buddy, I can tell you that right now. I've seen some of the stuff. <clears throat> so oh and uh just to uh remind you you can find the uh link to my patreon uh within the uh description area just below the video so don't worry guys i'm still gonna be doing camp buddy i'm still gonna be doing the nuts me route i just started the nuts me out uh there today or actually yeah yesterday it says one day ago so yeah it's right there yeah so I guess that was yesterday hmm no it can't be yesterday because I was doing something yesterday so I had, it would have to been Thursday yeah either way I don't know uh, I'm gonna be switching I'm gonna be kind of switching back and forth I'll be doing 
an episode of Sensation Today. And the next time I do a recording, it'll be Camp Buddy. So I'll be kind of switching back and forth, back and forth sort of thing. So that uh, you get a piece of everything, a little piece of everything, you know, in here. And I'm always searching for good uh, uh, visual novels to share with you guys here on, on my YouTube. So I'd really appreciate it in return if you guys could just become a Patreon contributing member. So that funds can go directly to charity. Like I said, you'll be doing good for the community. Excuse me. So let's get started. Let's get on the uh, sensations. <clears throat> You're going to enjoy it, I'm sure. Okay. Yeah, oh, right. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, there are seven sins in total, and uh, the sin that we get to be, we get to become lust. We get to be lust. And we have to seduce all these uh, other sins. They're human incarnations of sins that Lucifer put on earth. And uh, we're, we're going to get to become one of them. So let's get started. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Start. It seemed like I had spent an eternity in hell. Once you're dead, you don't have clocks or the sleep and wake cycle to keep track of time. Things seem to stretch on forever. Yeah. Our character's name, by the way, is Kosuke. Ahari Japanese of course and the good thing about this is the characters voice their own dialogue unlike uh, Camp Buddy where only in certain sections they do that I will still offer my own uh, commentary which I always do anyway so let's get going on this alright Hmm. What's this up here? Ah, okay. Settings. Alright, there we go. 
In actuality, I had barely been here six months. I was just an ordinary guy living in Japan. I was an artist, much to the dismay of my parents, but hey, I was sort of a rebel. My parents, despite their enormous disapproval, still helped me go through a prestigious art program. I had graduated and was looking for work, with little success. My parents never missed an opportunity to let me know how I could have been a neurosurgeon like my mom, or a mechanical engineer like my dad. Isn't that just like parents? They always want you to become something like them. I mean, they, they want, of course, they want you to be successful, but hey... What about my aunt? What about your own happiness? Your own happiness. Doing what doing what you want, you know? So, not to give too much personal information, but I loved drawing porn. Specifically, uh, anime porn. I was pretty good at it. Unfortunately, that's a smaller market than the rest of the anime and manga world. So, I wasn't optimistic about my chances of getting a job. Yeah, and I love looking at gay anime porn, yaoi, BL, manga. Love it, love it, love it, love it. That and, uh, well, gay, gay furry porn. Then, one day, I got a job. I went through the first round interview, then the second, then the third, and finally got hired at a small startup called Frigid Delights, specializing <coughs> in my own little specialty. I was thrilled, let me tell you. I was so thrilled, I was happily crossing the street, on my phone, texting my parents, lost in thought. Yeah, not the best idea. I got turned into asphalt pancake by a school bus. Not a good way to die, among other things, ways to die. Although, it could have been like, uh, from that one show called Dead Like Me, where she got uh, nailed by a, to a toilet seat falling from a, a space station. Or, yeah, probably from the International Space Station in space. That's just a weird way to die of uh, all, play all things. But, yeah. Pay in mind. When you're out on the street, always pay attention to where you're going. Watch both ways. You don't want to get pancaked by a bus. <clears throat> or a car, for that matter. Apparently, my death was over pretty quickly, because there was a period of darkness. Then, my soul got sucked out of my body and raced down to hell. I was kind of disoriented since it was my first time dying. <coughs> As I approached the imposing gates of hell, I worried that an eternity of damnation and torment awaited me. Needless to say, my worries were for nothing. Hell wasn't all that bad of a place. It certainly was boring, a bleak plane of existence with mostly gray and muted colors. No real torture, other than boredom. The torture appeared to be heaven's propaganda. A lot of unfinished rock work added a spooky and cavernous atmosphere, but there wasn't really much to be afraid of, other than Lucifer. 
Lucifer spent most of his time brooding and plotting in his throne room alone. Hell's denizens saw him infrequently at best. Hmm. I'm gonna pin that. Oh! That's how we get rid of it. Alright. Fallen angels and dead humans spent their time telling each other stories of their time in heaven or on earth. Those stories had been repeated hundreds, sometimes thousands of times, depending on how long the demons or humans had been in hell. Well, I just figured out how to get rid of the icon bar. If I wouldn't have known that sooner, I would have done that. I had died at the ripe old age of 24, so I didn't have a lot of stories to tell. And the stories I did have to tell were boring. In short, my life was boring. And my afterlife is boring. That sounds sucky. With souls constantly pouring into hell, scribe demons grumbled 24-7 about their workload, registering people into hell's database. Their bitter grunts were entertaining to listen to, but that got old. Sometimes, house denizens would shake off their melancholy and have dances reminiscent of the time periods they were alive. Lucifer's hype man, Judas, tries to keep hell entertaining by having karaoke events or scavenger hunts. forward to was when Lucifer needed to choose a new deadly sin. Deadly sins are pretty interesting. Lucifer places deadly sins all over the world. They're basically just human incarnations of a specific sin. They're good at spreading. Lucifer decides when a new one is needed, or if one died it needs to be replaced. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh, jeez. I'm glad he's kind of explaining it you, to uh, you guys about the process of all this. He would either have Judas hold a lottery to select the lucky deceased, or choose it himself in rare instances. After someone was chosen, Lucifer would craft them a physical body and send them back to the mortal world wherever he determined they'd best serve. I didn't know it at the time, but there's several deadly sins the world over. Lucifer follows some unknown set of restrictions, so he doesn't just flood the world with hell's former denizens. The reward for serving as a deadly sin was demonhood. I'm not sure what makes being a demon so great, but a lot of people spoke reverently of the opportunity. Must be good if so many people want it, right? It's like pizza. Anyway, like I said, I've been here for six months. I met a few interesting people, among the billions of people here. Yes, billions. Turns out, heaven is extremely discriminating in who they allow up there. Speaking of interesting, here comes Chester. Chester was a roaring 20s all-American guy. Loves to talk about his dame and how much he had to live for, when his life was tragically cut short by a burst appendix. Ah, things happen. Yep, stuff happens. Ghost gay! Good 
glad to see ya. Hey, Chester. So I am really helping this time. Maybe I'll be selected this time, and I'll get to see Brooklyn again. <coughs> Yeah, if they get to, uh, if Lucid Hurt allows you to go there, of course. I mean, you gotta perform some tasks before you can move on with your, your life, your new life. <sighs> if you're chosen, and if you get sent to Brooklyn at all. Yep, that's true. I'm certain Lucifer will allow it if I serve well, but I'm certain of it. Maybe. Do we have any idea on when Lucy will choose his new pet? Lucy? Oh, my stars! Lucy? You know who's picking here everything here, and he wants? You need to be more respectful, Ghost Guy. Lucifer's given us a new lease on life every time he needs a new deadly sin. Potential new lease on life. And that chance gets smaller and smaller every day, with more souls pouring into hell. I understand that, but as long as Earth exists, I gotta be chosen eventually, right? Gotta keep hope alive. Yeah, keep hoping. I'm not holding my breath. Many of Hell's denizens have been here for millennia, and have never been chosen. Just something for everyone to get excited over and then grumble about for a few months. Shush, 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 shush. Your mouth. Look, those parachutes have arrived. Hell, oh, everyone! <laughs> Jeez, tough crowd, tough crowd. Who died in here? Confirm them for you. Lucifer has need of a new deadly sin of lust. What an opportunity! Lust has been a cornerstone of the deadly sins. I mean, who doesn't like a little hanky panky no matter where you are in life? Am I right? Yeah, am I right? Yep. Sure. Yes, lust! Imagine it! A sexual tyrannosaurus! A god of all things carnal! Oh! I'm having Rick just thinking about it! Oh god! Who? Just kidding. Or am I? Uh, I think this might be a little too loud. Turn some stuff down here. Could turn the volume, voice volume down just to 75, maybe. There we go. Hopefully, I'll solve the problem. And with this glorious opportunity comes new benefits. You get a fantastic ability to seduce people. It will even help you seduce people who don't want to be seduced. There will be so much seducing. Wow. You could even seduce me if you want. <laughs> I joke, I joke. Knock it off, you perverts. So, in traditional fashion, we've come up with three final contenders. Who among these three will be reincarnated as Lust? A ravenously sexual beast? An insatiable hoppy? A domineering force of every bodily pleasure? We'll start off by naming our first contender. Ashley Princeton! Give it up for Ashley! That's right, Ashley! Come on down! You've got just minutes to 
to give a speech about why you should be lost. Be convincing, be demure. Show a little cleavage if you want. Show us lost. Come on down to the price is wrong. Um, <laughs> hi everyone. Oh my gosh, I'm just so honored to be here. Like with Lucifer and Judas. Love you, Judas. <laughs> and whoa, what an opportunity. I mean, I am totally down to be lost. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you are. Tell you that straight out. When I was alive, I was a slut. A big slut. Like, wow. You know how those sorority girls get? <laughs> I guess that's all I really have to say. I'm so honored for this opportunity. Yeah, this is a BL game. We don't want any females in here. Why were you chosen as contestant in the first place is beyond me. Ashley, thank you. Get it for Ashley, everyone. <clears throat> Next up, huh? What's this? I can barely read the name. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Have to keep you on your toes. <coughs> Father Carlson. Why don't you step on up and give us a good speech on why you have a burning desire to be the next lost? Um, well, I guess I'd be a good candidate because I had a ton of experience with it when I was alive. You know, the whole celibacy thing, it gets hard. Yeah, uh, how many boys did you supposedly molest? Probably lots. Pervert. My oh my, I can only imagine how hard it was! <laughs> Ooh, wowee, what a lineup we've got here! Our last and final contender has a couple of huge acts to follow! Kosuke Arai! Come on up here and tell us why you're so intent on being lost! Um... So, uh, I guess I'd be a good candidate because I used to draw a lot of porn secretly, so I've got that hidden lust thing going on. I'm pretty good at it, too. Just FYI, I'm not really trying to make fun of the whole molestation thing. Believe me, I think that's all wrong. I think it's sick. Anybody who does that kind of... You know what I'm talking about. Anyway, I just had to co throw that comment in there. Because of the whole priest thing... You know... I'm sure you all have heard the news. It's just one of those things. Whoa, a stunning revelation! An innocent looking guy like Kosuke up here filling his school mind is full of naughty, salacious drawings. Truly magnificent. Now, Lucifer and I will take a moment to talk and decide on a winner then! I have chosen Kosuke. Yay, Kosuke! Oh, I mean, we've already chosen Kosuke as the obvious choice. Off the stage, Ashley! Father Carlson! You too! Out! Out! Let's yeah. hear it for our new deadly sin of lust! Kosuke Arai! Yeah, the rest of you fools get out of here. Especially you, Father Carlson. Alright, Kosuke, you better hear it We're going to be the new deadly sin of lust! Sin City! Las Vegas! What happened there stays there. Truly not a place for a novice. But I'm sure you have things well in hand. Yeah, of course it would have to be Las Vegas. Sin City is as it's called. And yeah, I live there. I live in Las Vegas, Nevada. So this is just too 
Weird. Right. Okay, so when you become a deadly sin, Lucifer gives you a teensy little test. Just to make sure you're going to be able to handle whatever your new life throws at you. Your test is going to be seducing all six of the other local deadly sins. You gotta get them to love you. And it has to be done within two months. Two! No more, no less. I guess less of you can manage it. Oh yeah, no pressure, right? Definitely no pressure. Two months. Two months to get these other sins to love us. Wow. No pressure. What? Love? How am I supposed to get one person to love me in two months? Much less six. I know, right? Don't be such a worry ward. You'll figure it out, big strapping guy that you are. Now first, your new power. You activate this power by inclining your neck and thinking dirty thoughts about the person you're trying to seduce. Woo! Woo! Go on, give it a try. Think something naughty about me. Well, at least we do have that. We have the power to seduce uh, other people. We just do a certain do a certain thing, look at in a certain way, and they get overpowered by it. The lust sensation. Hmm. You'll get the hang of it, I'm sure. Not a bad first attempt. I think I felt a tingle in my loins. Woo! Okay, second. You have this handy dandy hell watch. It's my own creation. It helps you find where the deadly sin you're trying to pursue is. Just whisper to it, and it will activate. Cool, fashionable, and serviceable. Uh, um, cool. Lastly, you're given the latest model hell phone. That's what I call it anyway, because I'm clever. The hell phone operate anywhere with any service. I originally made the area code 666, but... That seems so on the nose. Now it's 69-6. Because you're lost. Oh yeah, that would be just too cliche, right? So just make sure you give the area code to any of your potential sex grenades, And they'll be able to get a hold of you. This is a lot to take in so suddenly. <sighs> Lastly, your body is due for retrieval. If you fail to seduce anyone, nothing you do will be considered private at any time, and Lucifer and or I are more than within our right to check in on you at any time to see your progress. If at the end of two months you haven't accomplished Lucifer's test, you will be recalled to hell and a new deadly sin nominated in your stead. You are not able to tell anyone that you are trying to seduce that you are a deadly sin until after they have decided they love you of their own free will, void where prohibited. Okay. <gasps> Any questions? Uh, no, let's get started. My body? Retrieval? What? Oh, don't worry about that! We'll cross that bridge when we burn it! <laughs> Enough talking, Judas. I am constructing his body now. Serve well, and be rewarded. Okay. I love this part! Jesus! Don't you use that language in front of Lucifer! <coughs> oh, Las Vegas. Uh, I need clothes before I do anything. People are staring. Yeah. Not like, uh... I mean, you're in Vegas. 
there are weird there are some weird things you're gonna see either on Fremont or the strip sometimes you might wind up uh, an entertainer on the street who's completely naked or close to completely naked uh, whether or not the cops allow that kind of thing I don't know really don't know hmm rush to into a souvenir store but we don't have any money so I don't know let's try to hell a cab taxi taxi what the hell where are your clothes? Uh, I just got sent back here from hell. I have no clothes. Can you help me out with that? It was a very, very, very long night. Uh, yeah, that's a good excuse, I guess. Uh, well, you ain't the first. I'll take you to a clothing store. But you're gonna sit in the cab while I get you some clothes. And the meter is running. I appreciate the generosity. I have no money to pay for this cab. I wonder what he'll say when I tell him. Uh, yeah, I mean, where are we supposed to put a wallet anyway? Or our money? Up our, up our ass or something? Alright. Uh, just be a second. Stay put. Okay. I wait in the cab for a few minutes before the driver returns with some clothes. Yeah, put these on. Then you can give me the money for the ride and the clothes. Uh... Let's try flirting with the cab driver to attempt getting out of ping, since we have no money anyway. Well, I don't have any money. How about I take you for a ride, since you were so kind to me? <coughs> a married kid and like twice your age. Must be a sad situation you're in for you to sell yourself. Get out of my cab before I call the cops for theft of services. Hmm, let's see. I have to gain the current sin's approval. I am now the incarnation of lust. I am in Las Vegas, and I have no resources but this hell phone and watch that shows me where the sins are. Uh, I suppose I should decide which sin to pursue first. Let's see. Yeah. Let's see. Hmm. Who do we choose? Who do we choose? <laughs> eh. We'll kind of go in order, I guess. Let's see. First, we have Sloth. Dimitri Keenan? I think. Kynan, whatever the hell it's pronounced. Uh, crypto developer. Dimitri is only deadly is on is the only sin to be tasked with a less more situation. Luckily, his life is completely automated. And by computers mining uh, newer digital currency known as litcoins. Dimitri uses his profound knowledge of computers to automate the daily trading of this currency amongst other currency markets the world over. He does occasionally have to get 
up and monitor a few things like conversation or his com company but sleeping is his true passion Dimitri is the youngest sin deadly sin at 20 years old he is the smallest deadly sin standing at just five foot three but that doesn't bother him much people are taller after sleeping anyway Dimitri loves eating desserts and loves t talking about technology and will talk your ear off about it if you let him all right and let's do that. I'm looking for a Dimitri Kanan. My hell equipment tells me he's at the Lotus Casino. Okay. In the penthouse sweet. Must uh, do well for himself. Hmm. No time like the present to head over there. Okay, so it is Dimitri Keenan is a Keenan is a pronounce. All right. My watch says Lotus Casino is about three minutes from here. Convenient. It's still a little too loud. I don't know. The music is anyway. Eh, let's try it at 55. Let's see if that works. I arrive at the Lotus Casino. A luxurious modern casino with a deceptively soft exterior. Lotus Casino is set far back from the main Las Vegas Strip, giving it an alluring exclusivity. Okay, not too bad so far. The casino is lit by a gentle purple and silver color scheme. Massive incense burners line the pathway to the casino. <coughs> And a pleasant smell of wood and lavender washed softly from him. Now, I don't believe any of these uh, places that he talks about actually exist. So, they kind of, I would think they would have to make them up somehow. But the Lotus, Lotus Casino would be a good idea for Vegas if they ever did something like that. I walk inside, and the doorman nods to me. It is much less crowded inside. Maybe that's due to the price? I notice immediately that the people here are younger than the average age you would see at a casino normally. Young tech geeks with their ironic beards. College-age entrepreneurs? I wonder what's going on to attract these people here. My watch and hell phone showed me Dimitri is also very young. Or at least looks very young. He certainly wouldn't stick out here. How should I try to find him? Hmm. Uh, let's uh, at the front desk. I think that would be... I walk up to the front desk, and a smartly dressed woman greets me. Now, I don't know if you see the blue arrow. That's what you want. You want the blue arrow. Because if you get a red arrow pointing down, that's not good. I mean, it could lead you down a wrong path and you get dragged back down to hell eventually. Hello, are you checking in? Uh, no. No, I'm here looking for someone. His name is Dimitri Kanan. I see. You must be here for the conference. Conference? Yes, Dimitri is here for three more days giving a presentation on a new craze. Cryptocurrencies, I believe they are called.
Okay. Ah, yes! Yes, I am here for the conference. Is he giving a presentation today? Unfortunately, I believe he's wrapping up his presentation for the day. If you go on to our grand ballroom, you may be able to sit in on his question and answer session. Ah, great. Thank you so much. My pleasure, sir. The casino has illuminated signs hanging from the ceiling. Let's see... Table games... Pool... Ah! Grand Ballroom. I wonder what sloth is like. Lazy, probably. How do you seduce laziness? Hey there, I like doing nothing too. Well, he is sloth, so... I pass a blackjack table, and I double take the minimum bet. Fifty dollars. This casino is truly a place for the privileged in life. How did Sloth become rich? He's the deadly sin of Sloth. Seems counterintuitive. I continue to follow signs to the Grand Ballroom. I pass several smaller conference rooms on the way, until I see a handmade sign directing people inside the Grand Ballroom. Litcoin International Conference. Don't mind me, I'll just head in. I get a couple curious looks from the people at the door, but I do my best to act like I'm supposed to be here. I must. Of course I'm supposed to be here. You know, always use your lowest power to cut on your way in. I take a seat in back. There's a young man on stage giving a lecture on stuff I don't understand. Everyone in the conference seems fixated on his every word. Okay. The speaker is short, and he's wearing pajamas? And a bathrobe? Odd. Again, I cannot emphasize enough that Litcoin is the currency of the future. I will now take a few questions before ending today's presentation. Please raise hands and an assistant will run a microphone to you. Hmm, he is cute. In a kind of twink sort of way. I have the sneaking suspicion the speaker is Mr. Sloth. His clothing somewhat gives him away. He's pretty good at public speaking. He seems to really know what he's talking about. He's not bad looking either. He has that cute boy next door kind of charm. Not bad. Not bad. Yes, you in the black jacket. Give our assistant just a second to run you the microphone. Alright, what is your question? First of all, I want to thank you, Dimitri, for coming and giving an awesome presentation. I'm honored to be here at the start of such large and massive opportunities. So it is Sloth. That's good to know. My question is, how will Litcoin move forward as an international currency if major first world nations continue to place restrictions on the purchase and trading of it? <clears throat> Excuse me. I blow my nose. <clears throat> A good question. The simple fact of the matter is... Excuse me. The simple fact of the matter is everything in the world is becoming more digitized, more secure. Governments may be able to stall the progress that is true. What's the matter, honey? Sleepy? Yeah, I'm sure you are. But whether through adoption or simply the slow march of time, Litcoin will become a major player as its own respected currency. Nations will have no choice but to accept new technology as necessary, rather than an option. It is inevitable. 
thank you for the question. Ness? Mm, yes, you, in the blue hat. Thank you. My question revolves around security. There have been some large security breaches where people have lost vast sums of money. How can you assure people this is a rare occasion, and what precautions should they take? Another good question. The answer has two parts. One, the large security breaches are usually done internally. An independent website that allows trading of cryptocurrencies can overlook many security threats despite taking precautions. I recommend that you trade only on Litcoins.com as I myself have personally guaranteed the security of trades and accounts. Second, caution should be taken whenever you decide to put money in any investment, cryptocurrency or otherwise. Cryptocurrency is a new movement that is receiving backlash from established banks and governments. Obviously, they do not like their power structure being threatened. Because of this uncertainty and the power struggle inherent in any new technology, I advise people that are worried about their finances to not invest. If you believe in the vision and are okay with potentially losing your investment, then I advise you to do so. I believe there is a great chance of profit, but I am a fortune teller. Only invest if you are able. Do not view cryptocurrency as a certainty. Alright, one last question. Let us hear from a lady this time. Does any lady present have a question? Yes, you, lady in the red sweater. Thank you. My question is not pertaining to Litcoin at all. My question is simply, are you single? <laughs> I am indeed single. Unfortunately, I trade on the opposite currency, if you get my meaning. Yeah, uh, he's gay. He don't do women. This is a BL novel. Aww, that's alright. I'll set you up with my best friend if you're interested. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think so. <laughs> Thank you for the concern. I appreciate all the questions. I will see you all back here tomorrow for our discussion on small business cryptocurrency adoption and how it will affect our movement. That is all for today. Thank you all for attending. Let's all get some rest. Sloth gets up and is immediately flanked by a few security guards. I have to talk to him. What should I do? You see. Uh, I'll let run up and try to talk to him. Why not? I run up to Sloth as he's making his way off the stage. I'm immediately intercepted by security guards. Okay, that's not good. We got a red arrow. Mm. Hey, 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 hey. Can we help you with something? The presentation is over for today. Oh, that's no problem. I was just wanting to speak with Dimitri. I'm a huge fan. Oh, hi there. It's fine, guys. I can take a moment to talk to a fan. How's it going? What's your name? It's going great. My name is Kosuke. Kosuke Adai. I really loved your presentation. Oh, what was your favorite part? Hmm. Hmm. I have a feeling this might not be the best one. There's so many good parts, I can't just pick one. Uh, how about this one? Ah, oh, I'm a fan of that as well. Did you know I developed most of that technology myself through my own startup company? Okay, that's good. We got a blue arrow. Wow, that's really amazing, since you're so young as well. <laughs> 
I am young. How young do you think I am? Hmm. How old should I say he is? Twenty. That's correct. I opted not to go to college in favor of pursuing my company, Litcoin International. That's awesome. There's risk to that, but I'm really glad it worked out for you. Oh, thanks. That's really nice of you. Do you have any other questions you'd like me to answer? Hmm. What topic should I ask Sloth about? Hmm. Do you live in Vegas? No, I don't think so. We have two offices, one in New York and one in Russia. We're trying to open a third in Korea, but things can be slow when dealing with such things. <laughs> okay, we got a big blue arrow. That's good. So, governments can be pretty resistant to new tech. That's too true, sadly. Uh, what about yourself? What brings you to Vegas? Hmm, what does bring me to Vegas? Uh, Lucifer and his test to make me l lust. Honestly, not much. Came here looking for new opportunities. I see. And you stumbled onto my conference? Why does that get me a red arrow? I mean, we're telling the truth, pretty much. Basically, I heard there was a pretty good-looking presenter here. I had to come see for myself. <laughs> uh, charming. And? What do you think? What do I think of Sloth's appearance? <clears throat> I think you look great. Well, well, thank you. You're quite good looking yourself. Why does that get a red arrow? I mean, we're telling the truth, right? He does look cute. I mean, for a twink, you know. Thanks. Do you have plans for tonight? I'd love to get to know more about you and your company. Hmm, I have to check in on some Litcoin International business. What should I say? I need to seal the deal. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, this one's a tough one. Hmm. describe me as is a homebody. It is good that you like staying in as well. Well, that did give me a blue arrow, so. I'm always willing to have quiet time alone with such a handsome guy. That's good, case Kosuke. Uh, we have to swoon this guy. <coughs> if we're gonna pass this test. <clears throat> you're 
You're really nice. I appreciate how genuine you are. Let's walk to my room. I need to check on auto trading, then we can see about dinner. What is auto train? Hmm. I don't really have time for useless chatter. Please enjoy the conference. I must be going. Oh man. No way. No way. Uh is there a way to go back? Is there a way to go back? There's gotta be a, a way to go back. Archive. get to know him. I watched Sloth leave hurriedly and feel a lingering sense of dread in my stomach. Yeah, I picked the wrong choice. I realize now that I've blown my chances with Sloth. If only I could go back in time and redo our interactions. I know, right? I walk slowly through the Lotus Casino and out onto the Vegas Strip. Surprisingly, there's nobody in sight. I don't understand why. The hot Vegas weather suddenly chills. The wind blows a furious biting temperature, stinging my eyes and stealing my breath. Something makes my stomach drop. The emptiness of the Vegas Strip is unnatural. In fact, I don't see anything living anywhere. I suddenly see him standing off to the side, a tall man dressed in black, black hair, a palpable aura of power. Lucifer himself. Yep, we're in trouble. Failure does not become you, Kosuke. But give me another chance. Please. I know. I messed up by being overeager. Every deadly sin is given a test. I am returning you to hell, where I will select a new lust. That's mm. fine. I didn't okay. care much for this role anyway. That's fine. Let me show you what I think of your flippant response. Lucifer's face suddenly stretches beyond human proportions and a monstrous horned snake head tears through his human guise. The horror of what I'm witnessing freezes me in place. By the time Lucifer's transformation is completed, his snake form has become the size of a small house. Lucifer lunges at me. Massive, venom-filled fangs flash and impale me in multiple places. The agony is indescribable. Lucifer lets the pain sink in for a moment, before snapping his head upright and swallowing me whole. Light leaves me. And for a moment, there's blessed oblivion. Bad ending. What I get for being stupid. Hmm. Options. What's a special? Hmm. Hmm. 
Okay. It seemed like I had spent an eternity in hell. Once you're dead, you know. Taxi! Taxi! What the hell? Yeah, put these on. Then you can give me the money for the ride and the clothes. Well, I don't have any money. Let's try a sloth again. I'm looking for a Dimitri Kanan. My hell equipment tells me he's at the Lotus Casino. Mm. Front desk. I walk up to the front desk and smartly. I run up to Sloth as he's making his way off the stage. I'm immediately intercepted by his security guards. Hey, can we help you with something? The presentation is over for the day. Oh, that's no problem. I was just wanting to speak with Dimitri. I'm a huge fan. Oh, hi there. It's fine, guys. I can take a moment to talk to a fan. How's it going? What's your name? Ah! I'm a fan of that as well. Did you know I developed most of that technology myself through my own startup company? That's correct. I opted not to go to college in favor of pursuing my company, Litcoin International. We have two offices, one in New York and one in Russia. We're trying to open a third in Korea, but things can be slow when dealing with such things. Uh. Hmm. I wonder... I mean, last time we did this, we got a red arrow. I wonder what happened if we get this. Oh, you came for me? Oh, that got us a blue arrow. That's good. Well, I haven't yet, but we could see where the night takes us. Uh, <laughs> well, this is a new experience for me. Most people think I'm too short or too young to date. What do you think? Not at all, honey. Not at all. I mean, you're cute. You're really cute. You're worth... Worth getting into... Bed, I would say. What do I think of Sloth's appearance? Uh, he's cute. He's hot. He's got that twink thing... Whole twink thing, Yuki going on <sighs> okay uh, let's get the lust ability yes augment one list ability well well thank you you're quite good looking yourself well, that's, that got us a purple dying, uh, diamond, uh, pulsing diamond. That means just, uh, when you get that, that's just, uh, neutral. It's good. It's good. Uh, he's getting flushed, though. Our boy, our boy, Slav here is getting flushed. But we gotta seal this deal. We gotta keep going forward, try to get this guy. We gotta seduce this guy. Thanks. Do you have plans for tonight? I'd love to get to know more about you and your company. Mm, I have to check in on some Litcoin International business. What should I say? I need to seal the deal.
Which one did I choose last time? describe me as is a homebody. It is good that you like staying in as well. Yeah, they got us a blue arrow. I'm always willing to have quiet time alone with such a handsome guy. Mm-hmm. You're you're really nice. I appreciate how genuine you are. Let's walk to my room. I need to check on auto trading, then we can see about dinner. Yeah, we're very nice. We like to get to know you better. Hmm. What is auto training? Mm, did you not hear my presentation on them? It is basically a bot that can be programmed to automatically process, sell, or buy orders if certain things occur in the market. Okay. Yeah, sorry about that. I try to automate most things. Why should I work when computers can work for me? Sure, why not? What is your opinion on Litcoin personally? Do you own any Litcoins? Uh, currently, no. I don't have any money. Should I lie? I don't know. But if I said I'm poor, would that throw him off? Would I get a red arrow? Hmm. Ugh, I'm going to have to save it because I have no idea how this is going to go about. We'll say I do not. I'm poor at the moment, but I wish I did. Ah, it is true you have to have expendable income to safely invest in a cryptocurrency. I applaud you for not risking everything on what could be a high risk investment. Yeah, well, that's good. We got a blue arrow. That's good. Suddenly you're just getting heartburn. It takes real restraint, let me tell you. Mm-hmm. I'm sure it does. <laughs> you would be shocked at how many college-age people invest in things they cannot afford. Oh, I don't think I'd be shocked at all. College kids invested in going to college after all, and that's just one example. That is both sad and true at the same time. On a different topic, what are you interested in ordering for dinner? I know he likes sweets, so let's... Yeah. Let's do that. Wow, me too! Sometimes I go a whole day just eating sugar. Uh, probably bad for me, but hey, I'm young. Yeah, but it could get you uh, diabetes later on, you know. 
all that sugar is not all that sugar is good for you. Too much sugar is not good for you. <coughs> we should both indulge in some sweets. I'm sure this casino has some great room service. They do. We can order something after I check on things. Here we are. A cozy little bastion of security. I like it here. Thanks for the security detail, guys. You can all take the rest of the night off. Hmm, nice sweet. It's got a bar and everything. Yes, sir. If there's a problem, just give us a call. We walk inside Sloth's penthouse suite. It's an expansive, circular shaped room with diffused lighting everywhere. The decor is the purple and silver common throughout the rest of the casino. I itch. Mm. <clears throat> A massive desk with eight giant computer monitors overlooks the window in the living room. Blankets, socks, and stray articles of clothing are strewn randomly across the room. A bit milky, are we? <laughs> Excuse the mess. I wasn't expecting a visitor today. I like to be comfortable while I'm working. Eh, it's okay. We'll forgive you this time. No judgment here. This is a nice place. Thank you. Would, would you like to order some food? I'm exhausted from my presentation and could really use some sweets. Sweets sound great. I'll do a repeat order from last night. Do you have anything you want me to add on specifically for you? No. I'm fine with whatever. Sounds good. I'm sure you won't be disappointed. This hotel has premium room service. Some of the most delicious donuts I've ever tasted. Well, that got us a blue arrow. That's good. That sounds awesome. I love donuts. Me too. Yeah, I like donuts once in a while. Not all the time. Sloth picks up his phone and presses a few buttons. After a few seconds of deftly entering information, he tosses his phone onto the couch. The sweets are on their way. Come on, I'll show you my battle station. <laughs> Alright, what do you got? This is where I set all of my auto traders for the day. At the very basic level, these bots are programmed to maximize profits by trading against numerous world currencies based on the fluctuation of currency value. Multiple... Uh... Computer monitors there. Hmm. Each doing their own little thing. Spinning uh, the lit coin. Checking the markets and all that, yeah. He's pretty smart for a guy who sleeps like 80, 80 to 90% of the time. Yeah. So if Litcoin is worth $10 and we know the dollar is about to drop in value, the bots trade into currency is likely to rise as the dollar drops. And they do that all day. Interesting. I see. So you basically just scrape tiny profits over the course of the day constantly. Exactly. I have to do very little actual work, and due to the amount of Litcoin I and my company hold, scraping a little profit ends up being tens, sometimes hundreds of thousands of dollars per day. Crazy. You would think governments would want to be involved in something so lucrative. They are interested, but they are interested on their own terms. They do not like companies like mine taking too many liberties or making too much money. Sounds about right. Uh, oh, excuse me. I'm pretty tired. I have low energy problems. Low blood sugar, maybe. That's alright. I find your work, and you, fascinating. Th thanks. I'm sorry, I've just been blabbering on. You're probably really bored. 
Since this is a date and all, I should ask you about you too. What do you do? Well, I went to college for art. I'm afraid it hasn't turned out too well yet. Yeah, I like drawing Mingo. Oh, why's that? Well, we got close to publishing and then went out across the street and got ran over by a bus because I wasn't paying attention where I was going. Um, a degree in art sort of, even if you're very talented, can be very difficult to find employment with. Some famous art studios and media companies already have working relationships with good artists. It can be a hard industry to break into. I see. That makes sense. Do you regret being an artist? It is a risky profession. No. I enjoy it. And enjoying your work is important. I just want to work a meaningful job. That's a good desire to have. I can't relate because I don't like working very much, but it's good for most people, I imagine. You don't like working? No. I wouldn't have even come to this conference if I didn't think the payoff would have been good for the future of my company. Didn't you have to work hard to develop Litecoin tech? Not really. I was a talented programmer from an early age. It was mostly my idea, yes, but I had help doing most of the heavy lifting. Very good for you. Interesting. So, since you're a large success now, you can relax as much as you like, right? And eat all the donuts I want. <laughs> Sweet. Room service? Ah, that is room service. If you want to let them in, I'll go get us some water. What would you like the food, sir? Uh, anywhere's fine. By the couch, I guess. Excellent, sir. Have a wonderful night. You too. Thanks. Wow, these desserts look pretty good. <laughs> yes! <laughs> you certainly have energy when it comes to sweets. I haven't eaten all day. Leave me alone. But honestly, who wouldn't drool over these cream puffs? Yeah, I'm not trying to give you a hard time, honey. Don't worry. Eat up. That's true. They look delicious. And these delicate little morsels over here are called macarons. Try one. <laughs> Alright. I ordered us the hotel's exquisite donuts with dipping sauces. They have caramel, chocolate, white chocolate, strawberry, and agave. I had these last night as well. So good. Agave, isn't that like what they used to make tequila? Hmm. They remind me of sopa pias. Of what? Sopa pias. They're like a Spanish pastry that you eat with different things, like honey. That sounds awesome. I'll have to try some when I get the chance. I recommend you do. Yeah, pretty great. There's so many sweets and so little time, sadly. Mm, yep, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure you'll have plenty of time to sample the world's delicacies. <sighs> I hope so. So while we eat, let's play the question game. What's the question game? Well, I don't know if that's really what it's called, but you ask me a question, and then I ask you one, and we both swear to tell the truth. Okay. And I go first? Yes, you go first. I like this game a lot. It's how I got to know a lot of my online and long-distance friends. <laughs> Alright, let's see. I have a feeling that the first one would be kind of intrusive, but okay. Uh, maybe B. What's your best trait in your opinion? Hmm, I would say my brain. I don't have much energy for working out or developing 
other assets. Okay, that got us a purple diamond. That's uh, neutral. That's good. Hey, that's all good. I don't work out much either. Or at all, really. <laughs> Finally, someone who understands. <laughs> what about you? What's your best trait? <laughs> My stunning good looks? Suave. <laughs> well, I'd say my talent with drawing. I'm not bragging. I'm pretty good at it. That's really cool. I wish I was good at some sort of art. I think anyone can be. They just have to have the right training and the right mindset. We should draw together sometime. That would be a fun activity. Sure. Sure. I'd need to get some art stuff. I didn't bring any with me to Vegas. Speaking of activity, what's your favorite activity to do with someone? Sleep. Snuggle cuddle? Do you like to snuggle cuddle? That's pretty forward. Not like have sex. I meant like sleep and cuddle. At least I've always wanted to. I, I don't really have people over much. Oh, he does like to cuddle. That's good. I love to cuddle. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. We can cuddle tonight if you want. Okay. But no sex. We've only met and it um wouldn't be proper. No problem, honey. No problem. We have time. We can work on that. <laughs> proper. You're just cute. Just don't want to take too much time. I mean, we have two months to seduce all six sins, so. Yeah, he is cute. I uh, think it's my turn to ask a question. So, what's your favorite activity to do alone? Hmm, I guess you're gone. <laughs> That's blunt. What? <laughs> hey, hey, don't act like you don't do it. He probably does. Since he has no sex life. I am not. I'm not acting. Er, I, I don't say such things so openly. You're embarrassed about talking about sex in a question game? I think you secretly enjoy it. No, I'm uh, uh, not a pervert. Mm. Nobody said you were. Oh, I think you're a lot less innocent than you let on. Am I right? No, I don't look at porn too often. It takes a lot of energy to... Mm. Mm, I think you do. I think you do. You're so cute. We can move on to the next question. For now. Okay. What's your next question? What do you want to do right now? Besides me. Mm. More blood. <laughs> You're awful. Yeah, we know. I mean, who could blame you? Well, I suppose I'm a bit tired, so laying down and relaxing would be nice. Yeah, and maybe getting nice and close. Kissing a little? I wouldn't mind a small kiss. Nothing major. You're very charming, and it has been a long time since I have kissed someone. I bet he's never kissed anyone. He's got that whole Yuki... You, you, okay, um, virgin vibe going, obviously. Oh? Have you really kissed someone? Well, um... <coughs> Aw, would I be your first kiss? Mm, yeah, be honest. I guess so, as shameful as that is to admit. Hey, there's nothing wrong with that. Everybody has their first time. I look at Sloth, and he seems genuinely upset about his lack of love life experience. I feel a twinge of sympathy for him. 
My love life is pretty much directly opposite of his. Wild, forced, and slutty. But maybe Swath and I could be something more? Dimitri, I would be honored to give you your first kiss. If you'd like that as well. I... I wouldn't like that a lot. Aw, sweet. Why don't we go cuddle in your bed, so we're more comfortable? So sounds good. Cramming door in the mouth sounds good. I take Sloth's hand and guide him to his bedroom. He shyly takes off his bathrobe and hurriedly turns off the lights. There's a giant skylight in his bedroom, which allows enough moonlight in to see by. I slowly take off my outer shirt and pants, and drop them over a chair. Sloth is peering at me from the bed, his small body and face lost in a sea of pillows. Excuse me. I slowly move onto the bed, and pull the covers up enough that I can slip under them. The bed sheets and comforter is silk, and the coolness and feel of it sends goosebumps over my body. Or maybe it's Sloth's innocence. I can't tell. A shiver goes up my spine as I slide next to his body. You're shivering. Are you cold? No, he's nervous. It's the first time. I... I'm fine. Just nervous. That's all. Called it. I brush Sloth's hair lightly, running my fingers through his tangles. I understand. <laughs> My heart was beating a thousand times a minute when I had my first kiss. Oh, good to know I'm not the only one. <laughs> yep, we all have that. I place my head besides his and look into his eyes. He removed his glasses at some point. He has beautiful green eyes that shimmer in the dim light. A thrill of anticipation runs through my stomach. Why does he have this effect on me? I place my hand softly behind his head, and pull him gently towards me. He looks nervous but aroused, as only a first-time experience can make someone. Ah, sweet. I gently put my lips on his. Sloth gasps softly, so softly I can barely hear it. His whole body tenses at the touch. I push my lips against his and kiss, passionately. I can barely hear now. The blood rushing through my ears is deafening. Sloth's body tension melts away. We kiss gently for a minute before I break off our first kiss. I lay my head next to him, again looking into his eyes. What do you think? Was it what you imagined? It, it was better than I imagined. Thank you, Kosuke. No problem. No problem. Sloth's face is beat red, but he's grinning from ear to ear. Of course, Dimitri. Let's go again. This time, let's try a little tongue, hmm? Oh, okay. I'd... like that. Again, I place my lips on his, and sensuously and lightly flick my tongue on his lips. Uh... Mmm, he liked it. Mmm, <laughs> did you like that? That's just a tiny bit of it. I want to... do more. We kiss again, and I suck Sloth's lower lip gently. His tiny moans and roaming hands have made my dick as hard as a rock. Well, I'm gonna save it there. I've done a lot already today. Um, when I come back to this, I will... There'll probably be an uncensored part, and I will re uh, record that to uh, uh, my uh, flash drive. Again, if you want to receive any uncensored parts, go to my you must go to my Patreon account and become a Patreon contributor, either on the nine dollar tier or the twenty five dollar tier. Uh, you can go in the comments and ask for any uncensored parts. And, uh, 
all the money that goes there goes directly to uh, Worthy Charity, of course, like I've said before. And you can find the link to my Patreon in the description area just below the uh, video. So, let's go ahead and save it here. There we go. Right. So, thanks again for watching on my YouTube channel. Don't forget to click the like button and the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And I will see you guys later. Uh, let's see. How do we go here? How do we get out of this anyway? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Hmm. All right. How do we end this? All right. Uh, is it to main menu? Yes. There we go. That did it. <laughs>